Hello, I'm Pushkar, Master Teacher in Chemistry at Vedantu and I'm discussing KVPY 2018 SX Part 1 Chemistry Paper. And this is a question from buffer solution. A buffer solution can be prepared by mixing equal volume of which of the following? Fundamentals of this problem is a buffer solution must contain considerable amount of conjugate acid base pair. Considerable amount, that means concentration at a appreciable level, that's 0.1 mole per liter, point 0.1 mole per liter or something like this. Let's read the options. 0.2 molar NH4OH and 0.1 molar HCl. I think in this HCl and NH4OH is going to react because one is base and one is acid. So in this reaction HCl is going to react with NH4OH to convert some part of it into what? NH4Cl. And of course since HCl is less in amount, so what we are left with is if we react them, then the reaction between them can be represented as NH4OH plus HCl changing into NH4 positive plus Cl negative. This is 0 0.2, this is 0 0.1. So the limiting reagent is HCl. So of course, this will be 0 0.1 at equilibrium. This will be approximately 0 and this will be 0 0.1. So of course, this is a buffer solution. So of course, A is the correct option. If we talk about this, then this complete neutralization will take place and we left with only one thing in the solution and it's 4 plus. Only conjugate acid is there. Conjugate base is not present or base is not present, weak base is not present. So that's not a buffer solution. In third case, we are mixing 0.2 MnaOH and CH3CH. Since CH3CH in shorter amount, the NaOH is going to react completely with CH3CH and still OH negative will left. In the process, it is going to create a state ion plus water. If this is 0 0.1, if this is 0 0.2, to equilibrium, this will be 0, this will be 0 0.1, this will be 0 0.1. So, of course, here weak base is there or conjugate base is there, but this is absent. And in a buffer solution, we know conjugate acid base base of a weak acid or weak base should be present. So, of course, that is not a buffer solution also. And the last case, we have excess of HCl and NH4OH. So of course, NH4OH will be completely neutralized by HCl. And still, we have some amount of HCl is left. So basically, this is also not a buffer solution. And this solution can be best described as a strong acid plus the NH4 positive, Cl negative. And of course, it's a weak acid. So basically D can be described as strong acid plus weak acid together. Similarly, C can also be described as strong base and weak base together. Strong base and weak base together. Strong base plus weak base. So of course that's also not a buffer. That's also not a buffer. And similarly, this is what, this is complete neutralization of this is going to lead to what? A weak acid. Because NH4OH will be completely converted into NH4 plus, that's a weak acid. And in the option A, we have both NH4OH as well as NH4 positive. So if conjugate acid base pair both exist simultaneously in a solution in appreciable amount, that is a buffer solution. Obviously, the answer A is the correct option. So I hope that you understand the solution and enjoyed the solution as well. Answer is A. Stay tuned for detailed discussions of more such questions.